Good afternoon. Uh, finish up this week, what I call a great practice. Uh, I love the intensity today. Um, attention to detail was there. And uh, as I just told the guys, um, good week of practice with the intention of that leading to uh, game day execution. So uh, that's exactly what we need. And with that, I'll take your questions. Do you expect uh, Burns and, and Foreman and some of those guys this, this question will play on Sunday? It's going to be a game time decision for us. I'm just waiting to hear back from the, uh, the training staff. How did you guys prepare for Taysom Hill this week? Uh, just as we have with other teams and other uh, players like that, Lamar Jackson, et cetera. Uh, he creates a different element in the things that they do offensively with him. So you got to make sure you have that zone read quarterback option. Um, you know, where everybody is really doing their assignment, locked in and focused, eyes in the right spot. So it creates a different element for you, but it's something that we definitely have to work on um, to the details. With the way he moves around, does it make it harder to use a quarterback? It, it like moves around the formation, not just at, at the quarterback position. Does it make it harder to use a quarterback maybe on the scout team and maybe have to go to another position? No, not, not so. Not unlike uh, Lamar or Kyler Murray when you feel like you – truly need that skill set there to give you the look that you need. Uh, Hill is a, a dynamic athlete, you know, so he can play uh, numerous positions. They put him out in space. So uh, he creates a problem in a matchup. Kind of like with JC, does last week's result impact the decision on Burns and Foreman's status? Uh, I don't think so. I think when you ask those guys um, in regards to wanting to play, uh, they would tell you that they want to play. And we're going to make sure that, you know, if, if they're healthy, they can and they will. And if they're not, we're going to make sure that we're smart enough not to put them in, you know, harm's way. So we'll wait and see exactly what happens uh, on game day. Steve, who would you anticipate uh, filling in for Brian if he's unable to go? You know, Marquise has always done a great job for us. You know, Barno is another guy that, um, you know, a young player for us has done some great things this year. So give those guys an opportunity. Back if Foreman can't go, you just split it among. Yeah, I think that's what you do. You split it with uh, Raheem and then Chuba. You know those guys have, as you guys know, have shown and proven that they can, uh, you know, carry the load. So, uh, but again, game time and hopefully um, Deontay is ready to go. Do you know yet whether they'll travel? Uh, yeah, he'll travel. When we say about game time decisions, you know, he'll travel and then sometimes that equates probably a workout, you know, pre-game and those kind of things, just to see his movement and see where he is. Foreman and Burns. Yes, sir. Yes. Steve, you had, I'm sorry. Go no, ahead. go ahead. You, you guys have had pretty impressive stability up front on the offensive line. How important was that to kind of creating that mentality you've talked about of having those five guys all to go? Uh, it meant a lot. You know, when you look at the uh, success that we had this year, you know, again, a lot of that is predicated off those guys up front, you know, so you can spread it around and who gets the credit, you know, starting with uh, Coach Campin, you know, he does a tremendous job in really rotating those guys, trying to keep them fresh, giving different guys looks just in case other things come up where guys got to be able to fill in and play. So. Uh, he's done a great job with that, but also just, you know, uh, Taylor Moten, you know, Bozeman, uh, the leaders up there, Corbett, all those guys have done tremendous. When you talk about giving them reps, I mean, how much is that in practice? I mean, and how much can you give guys differently to create those looks while also keeping them ready? Um, quite a bit. I mean, we've been doing it all year. You know, there's times in practice where Corbett's playing center because you never know what's going to happen. You know, uh, Michael Jordan's coming in playing guard, you know. Uh, Cam Irvin is going to tackle. So, he, again, like I, like I mentioned, I mean, he does a great job all year just with the rotation because one guy goes down, you got to be ready to adjust. and You just can't wait to game day right, to make that adjustment. The specialist, this specialist trio has been pretty consistent. How has that helped you guys with complementary football just from a field position standpoint, from a, being able to trust – that once that third phase goes out there, you're going to be able to do what you need to do? Well, I mean, you're always talking about trying to win in all three phases. And, and that uh, special teams phase has done a tremendous job. You know, uh, getting uh, Johnny Hecker was, you know, all pro punter, uh, in my opinion, and who's proven himself over the years. Uh, he has really done a great job in just giving us that field position, flipping the field. Along with that, when you look at guys on the outside, you know, Sam Franklin, 
Uh, I mean, he's getting down there making the uh, punt return guy a fair catch along with the, you know, the height and the, and the uh, hang time of the punt. So uh, they work together hand in hand, and they've done a tremendous job this year. Will Preston Williams be active? Uh, we'll wait and see. It's something we've been talking about all week. And, um, you know, I think that's going to be up until uh, 4 o'clock tomorrow. So he's had a good week of practice. You know, he's done some good things, and I'd love for him to have an opportunity on Sunday to get in there and show it. Indicated he at least has got a few more reps with the regular offense as opposed to the scout team. Uh, he has, and I told him early in the week, just be ready to play. So we'll see where our numbers are. You know, it's always things that come up from a standpoint of, um, you know, who needs to be up on game day, but love to have him up. We saw him in the locker room yesterday. How has he responded to coming back? Uh, you know, it, uh, it's been good, you know. Of course, he's still dealing with uh, some issues with, um, you know, Hamlin. And uh, his report is that he's doing well. You know, they took the tube out. He's talking now. Uh, so that's great, you know. It's, 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 it's a blessing. So, But uh, he's bounced back. But, you know, he's still keeping his friend in his prayers. With you guys wanting to win, um, but also kind of re potentially reward some guys down the stretch, uh, how difficult is it to create that inactive list for you guys ahead of a game, just knowing kind of what you're able to do from a personnel standpoint? Well, you know, our mindset, my mindset, is to do everything that we can to win the football game. So, uh, yeah, there's some young guys that you guys talked about we're looking at, of course, but uh, we're trying to win a game, and that, that's it. You know, I talked to the guys all week about wanting to finish on a positive note. You know, that's part of our DNA. The last element is finishing. So. Uh, that's what I'm looking for this unit to do. Did you think the NFL made the right call by not resuming the Bills and Bengals game? Uh, uh, in, in my opinion, as I stated before, uh, there's so much other things, um, you know, that's more important than, than the game that we play. And we saw that the other night. So I thought they did a great job in the decision that they made. Uh, you know, when you look at the state of those players and the, as well as the coaches, uh, it was an excellent decision. What about the playoff uh, tweaking with possible uh, neutral site for an AFC championship game and coin flips? What do you think of that? Well, th that I won't touch because that's that's totally out of my uh, my call. So I'm not even going to have have an opinion on it. You mentioned texting Sean the other day. Did you ever hear back from him? And just in general, how is from what you've seen of how he's handled this? What's that been like? Uh, yeah, he takes back, and and again, as I express, um, the way he's been handling is just indicative of who he is as a person. You know, tremendous leader, a strong man of faith. So, uh, a lot of respect for him and, and the things that him and his team is enduring. And I, I know he's going to have those guys ready to go. So, do you feel like all 53 of your guys are cool with playing? Uh, I can't speak for them. You know, I've known we've provided you know, an element of, of comfort for them and where they can be able to speak out. Uh, as I gave Kenny the opportunity to leave uh, the other day, uh, I expressed that to the whole team. You know, if anyone feels like they can't go out and practice and perform, because again, uh, we talk about family, we talk about, you know, having the, uh, uh, their support and, and backing those guys. So um, no one else has come up to me and said that. So I think they're ready to play. Steve, from uh, Icky to you mentioned Barno to a guy like Raheem who you know comes in here after the preseason. Essentially, we've never really asked you about any of these young guys hitting a rookie wall. Can you speak to how this class has handled the rigors of the league as we enter the final week? I think they've handled it well. Um, you know, we constantly, you know, I'm meeting with wellness each and every day uh, about the status of, of the other players the GPS, high-speed high volume, et cetera. And, you know, to be at this point in the year and still have a lot of guys that are active, it's just a tremendous job in what they do, you know, and getting guys ready. So, uh, Barno's continuing to play, you know, at a high level, uh, particularly contributing to special teams when he's in there. And when you look at Icky, just, you know, left tackle uh, all year. So, uh, I think, you know, he's handled it well, but most importantly, in-house, they've going to, Done a tremendous job. Everybody good? Um, oh, I appreciate that. Um, when do you feel that you've made the biggest impact this season, and when did you realize that you had broken through? Um, 
when you say impact, you're talking about the team? Well, I, I don't think it's just one situation, you know. I think there's numerous situations that have come up when we always talk about it, you know, not allowing it to get in the way, you know, uh, trading players, you know, and, you know, things like that. Um, and guys continue to, to, to perform, you know. And so that to me in itself just shows the uh, resiliency within this team and how they bounce back and certain things. So uh, it's numerous situations. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks, it, guys. Thank you. Thanks.